वेलकम बैक टू बाल विज्ञान भारती ना इन द लास्ट वीडियो व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इज द द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फाइंडिंग एवरेज नाउ एज आई सेड गेटिंग एवरेज इज ए कॉमन लिविंग एस्टैब्लिश बाय द रूल व्हेन there are set of numbers so to get an average of the set of numbers we have to add up all the numbers the value of these numbers are being added up and average is nothing but the ratio of the sum up the numbers and the count of the numbers so that means as i said a set of numbers so those all numbers are being added and that has kept on the numerator and in the denominator if we keep the count of those number then whatever the ratio you will find that will give the average okay so now as i said further to that if that set of numbers is such that this has a characteristic that all the terms are equally distributed that means the terms which are progressing have a a common increment to its earlier terms or the common decrement from its earlier terms then this kind of series or set of numbers has a special uh, property you can say by which we need not to add all the set of the numbers in the in the in that set of numbers rather if you club up the first and the last term of that set of numbers keeping in 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 the in the same array as it is incremental or decremental uh in the consecutive terms and if we divide it by 2 Two is coming as because we are dealing with only two terms. So then, whatever result it, it will give, it will be same as if we do and calculate the average with the generic method or the traditional method of making or uh, of calculating average by adding all the numbers. Divide by the count of the numbers that I have shown by one example. Now, what is the use of this concept while we are discussing about the arithmetic progression? Now, as I said, the specific series on which that property is being used is a series. where the consecutive terms or progressing terms are related in a manner that they are uh, incrementing or decrementing uh, in a way from uh, in the in the consecutive terms then its earlier terms in a same manner means the number changing from the previous number will follow the same increment or decrement so that only comes when it is a arithmetic progression now we if we talk about the arithmetic progression as i said earlier let it be a a plus d now i am i am representing the arithmetic progression with the term with the first term and the common difference then the series will be look like this okay and 
let it be extended up to nth term so the last term is the nth one as the first term is 1 the last term is represented by nth term now my task is to find to find sum of the set of the numbers so uh, if i want to get the sum of this all terms of this arithmetic progression how do i able to get it okay so there i will use the concept of average so concept of average says average says concept of average is sum of all numbers by count of all numbers this also can be said as i said if it is a ap series that means it is a series is equally distributed or uniform series then first term plus last this is first term and the last term by 2 as per our earlier understanding of getting average average can be said as sum of all numbers by the count of all numbers or it can be first term plus last term by 2 is it it so from that first relation what we can say the sum of all numbers that is my intention to find is equal to average into count of all numbers that we can say from the first two relation average is equal to sum so sum of all numbers is equal to average okay average into count of all numbers fine now if i say the count of all numbers is also related with this formula where it can be said as first term plus last term by 2 into count of all numbers is all also to be true so from the first relation of an average it says average is equal to sum of all numbers by count of all numbers from this two we can say the sum of all numbers is nothing but average into count of all numbers you can multiply cross so get because average by one is equal to sum of all numbers by count of the so count of all numbers into average is equal to sum of all numbers again the average of all numbers is also can be defined as I already given an example and explained for the series of kind AP the first term plus the last term by 2 so there that in, in place of average I can put it so what do you can say about the first term first term is as per this series if I say if it is a generic series of AP where as per the definition the first term and then all terms consecutive terms are incremented by d this d can be negative means where it is a converging converging series that means a decremental series where the difference is negative that means the term consecutive are diminishing or reducing here i have taken the incremental onto understanding of the concept so the all the consecutive terms are incremented by that common difference d so the first term is written as a and what is about the last term last term is the nth term so as per the definition we know the nth term which can be represented as tn can also be written as the first term plus n minus 1 into d 
that is my uh, way of representation of any term that i have shown you how it is coming that i have shown you so that is the nth term can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d so that i can put here a plus n minus 1 into d whole divided by 2 and what do you can say about the count of numbers as this series having n terms so the count of numbers also to be n as you can see if it is up to the second term so count of numbers will be 1 and 2 if it is up to third term this is 1 2 3 similarly if it is from up to the nth term it has to be n the count of numbers has to be n now simplify this let's see what we can find it is 2a keeping it is as it is by 2 whole into n okay so this is what n by 2 i am just bringing this n by 2 in front 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this is if the sum of the all numbers can be represented as sn as the term is represented by tn the term n sum stands for s stands for sum and n is the number of term where it is represented by n and the whole sum can be written as this or this can be also formulated as this where we can say n by 2 into first term plus last term this also can be a, treated as a formula where we need not to know the common difference the last term it is we if it is written here directly then we can use the first term plus last term into the number of terms there by 2 so this also can be used as a direct formula for getting your sum of the series understand please read it out I, i will stay for here for some time i i know i don't know whether you have followed me throughout the throughout the explanation because the screen size is very less and i cannot able to manage it i cannot see it how far you can see so i am just keeping my copy for a while just go through that what i did what i did uh, the average is given as sum of all numbers by the count of all numbers and also can be said as the first term plus last term by 2 as the series is an uniform series where it is has a increment of d in the consecutive terms and this series is spread up to nth term okay so now if i want to calculate uh, by seeing the numbers the nth term would be as i already explained this tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now starting with the relation for the first two relation where average is nothing but the sum of all numbers by the count of all numbers <coughs> from there we can say the sum of all numbers can be written as the average into the count of all numbers from the first relation <coughs> using the second relation with the average average is nothing but first term plus the last term by 2 that we are putting here in place of average and the count of all numbers and keeping the same now <coughs> i want to put the uh, numerical value of the first term that is the a that is a and the last term that i have uh, written here i am putting the value of uh, value of the last term a plus n minus 1 into d whole divided by 2 into the count of numbers is n because this is spread up to n terms okay now just simplifying this i am getting a plus a is 2a is n minus 1 into d and this is multiplied by n so i am keeping n by 2 outside the bracket and all the remaining thing i am keeping inside the bracket 2a into n minus 1 into 2 so this is the formula for your sum this also can be used directly by saying n by 2 into first term and the last term if any case the term is spreaded up to any term and any term itself is being written there so we, without any hesitation i can put the first term and the last term 
the formula and the number of terms you might know there because the spring, the, uh, the set or the series is spreaded up to n terms so n by 2 is always universal and this is first term plus last term so this will be the formula okay now as you can see so this sum can be calculated basis of this two way where when you know the first term and the common difference and number of terms or else when you know the first term and last term directly and the number of terms so with that also we can get the sum of the series on IP series now this sum of the series can also be found out with another method with another method when uh, this also can be means I mean to say this also can be done or can be proved this formula can be derived with another method where if I write the sum of the series symbolically with S n okay and if I write that this is first term plus a plus d I am writing all the terms where I am adding all the terms means first term second terms third terms fourth term like that till the term the last term if I allow to represent as a TN so I am writing as TN not using directly or you can also write instead of TN you can put the term in the similar manner ok but uh, to save the space I am just writing it TN ok so what we can do we can write SN again and this time what I will do I will reverse the term from the last end and put it just below the consecutive term starting from the first term so that means I am writing the last term here and accordingly the previous term to the last term uh, below the term which is coming consecutively ok so that means if the first SN is being mentioned from the first term to the nth term the second SN I am writing I'm just reversing the terms and keeping below the consecutive terms ok so this way all the term will come this way and the the first term will come below the TN ok now if I add up this what we can find I will get 2 of SN ok fine and if we just observe the terms particularly if I add up the first position terms it will come A plus TN ok the second term it is coming as A plus D plus TN minus 1 ok till the end here also I am getting TN plus A so here you can see the first of the term in the series after summing up and the last of the terms it is all it's already matching and it is saying nothing but the first term plus the last term ok but what about this whether it is saying the same thing to that yes if we observe particularly and particularly the term what we are talking about this one what it does tell that tn minus 1 is the term just before the term tn tn minus 1 and what could be the relation of tn minus 1 with the tn is that because 
if i see the every term of the every consecutive terms of the ap series is being incremented by a d only so the same way the tn and tn mi tn minus 1 and tn will be related where the tn will be will be 1 d more than tn minus 1 so that means from tn minus 1 to tn there will be increment of only 1 d so if i see the term here tn minus 1 plus d that can also be written as the term tn now by this way you can understand all the terms similarly can be transformed into this because if i see the uh, the next term of this this is tn minus 2 no so this is 1 a plus 2d plus tn minus 2 now in this case if i want to write it separately here just below i'm writing what is what how can we transform it to that term that means this way so here if i see uh, 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 i mean to say if i do it not in a single step I, i want to do it in a multiple step so the progressively this can be transformed into this i will show you that how out of this 2d i will keep 1d and the rest i will put it with this tn minus 2 so as you know the adding d this term will be upgraded to the next higher term so that means this also can be said as this is equal to tn minus 1 because tn minus 2 if i add d it will give you the next higher term that is tn minus 1 now further this if i keep on one bracket then this can be transformed into the higher term then tn minus 1 so that means tn so if we see all the terms can be transformed into the ultimate term the first term and the last term okay this way till this also can be turned into either you can write t tn plus a or a plus tn that would not be a different one so how many of such term you can get can you guess because this series having from first term to the last term having nth term so if we adding consecutive terms this series also have n numbers of similar terms so this we can write if i want to add it this is nothing but n of this n number of this okay so now but we can find 2sn is of this kind so this implies if i want to get sn this is nothing but n by 2 into the first term plus last term now you see the formula is being de derived with the concept of reversing the term and adding so this also logically proving the formula so ultimately uh, if i want to prove it i can prove this way or that way or the or the with the concept of average or with this logical approach also can give you that same formula understood so uh, i will end up here in the next i will show you few more properties on uh, ap few more concept on ap that will give you more advantage for solving uh the problem related to arithmetic progression so thank you for now good night